In a meetings register app, you have a good overview of all the meetings that you have access to. You can switch between different filters, showing only uh, the open meetings, the closed meetings, meetings that you uh, are participating in, etc. And you can, uh, of course, use the standard filtering functionality that we have in Omega 365. And when navigating between the different meetings on the right hand side, you will be able to see the actual content of the meeting. The meetings overview is another app where you can get an overview of the meetings that you have access to. It shows the meetings in a timeline. And if it's a meeting series, then you will see uh, all the different meetings in that series along the timeline, of course. Yeah. And you will also be able to filter for only meetings that you are participating in. Yeah, and, and also change the timeline and things like that. Yes. yes. Good. To create a new meeting, just click on the new button, select the type of meeting and fill in the title of the meeting, project uh, risk review meeting in this case, the date for the meeting. And if you have a template, you can use that. A template can consist of uh, agenda items that you yep. are going to use. The category of the meeting, this is a uh, um, coordination meeting. And we add this. And then you're ready to start populating the agenda. And the nice thing here is that you can do all this stuff up front so that uh, uh, when the participants come to the meeting, they are updated on what the agenda is. And I'll show you also how you can relate information, have that easily available. So the first agenda item might be to have a short introduction. Just save this here. And then I add another one where we're going to review the top 10 risks that has been identified. And in this case, I want to have a link to that list of the top 10 risks. So what I can do then is to add content and I can say that I want to add an URL and top 10 risks is the title of this one. Paste in, in this case, the uh, link to the top 10 risks. So then I get a live view of these top 10 risks. So when uh, navigating and preparing for this meeting, I can see those and during the execution of the meetings, we have all this information very easily available. And it's the actual app, so you can do the assessments, you can uh, update the risk, you can add new risks. Yep, uh, really working in it. Yes. And you can have dedicated, uh, under that content, you can have those documents or risks or incidents that are all very specific if you are linking into one specific which you want to relate to. Yeah. So like here, when you go to add content, you can uh, add attachments, you can uh, have checklists, uh, uh, individual risks, as you mentioned, documents, etc. So this uh, is very practical when you execute the meetings and uh, also very useful for preparing for the meeting. In the setup section, you can uh, uh, control who should have access to the meeting. If it's restricted, then it's only those listed in the participants list that will have access. If not, it's all those that has the standard meetings access. Um, and uh, yeah, you can categorize it. You can say something about the date, etc. Uh, we also support that you can have series of meetings. So if it's a monthly recurring meeting, weekly recurring meeting, etc., you can define that. The participants list. Um, and uh, including if they are admins of the meetings, if they should only have read-only access, if they were actually present to the meetings flagged here. Yep. And you can tie it to objects. You can, uh, of course, uh, uh, get an overview of all the decisions and actions that have been made in this meeting. And if it's a part of a meeting series, the whole series of meeting, and any open actions in this meeting or the series. Yep. So uh, when conducting the meeting, you, you might go to the participant list first, just to flag who is actually present to the meeting. So uh, uh, these are the uh, participants and all of them have uh, met to the meeting. So now that's uh, already logged. Uh, then, of course, uh, going through the agenda. And uh, when we go to come to the review of the top 10 list, so, so we have already tied that to this agenda item, the live top 10 list. You can go through that, work through it. So if I want to have a look at this individual risk, for example, we can do that. We can do the assessments. We can uh, uh, document uh, mitigating measures that we have agreed on and so on. Uh, and if there are any decisions or actions, you can record that here. So in this case, for example, we have a decision to uh, review risk about the delayed 
deliveries. Uh, this could be perhaps more relevant to have it as an action. So I put myself there and the due date. So actions can be assigned to those that are on the participants list. Yep. And these actions or comments uh, or being a decision also during the preparation of the meeting, you can assign yeah, actions yeah. Mm. and uh, comments. That's uh, true. When the meeting then is uh, eventually done, you can also generate the minutes of meeting. So from here, from the reports, you just click on generate MOM. There, there are different options if you want to include attachments, if they should be appended or uh, include uh, or not include closed agenda items, things like that. Mm. Generate uh, it in this case with the default values. And now a PDF file is, uh, is generated. So Omega365 Meetings is designed to make meetings more efficient from planning to follow up. And if you want to learn more, check out academy.omega365.com for documentation, product insight and more.